Hi there, welcome to the course CPM Solving Calculation Based Problems. So, what are calculation based problems? Those problems which involve mathematical calculation, there are some formulas, you need a calculator, you solve it. Those are the calculation based problems. So, in this uh, course, we'll be discussing different variety of problems uh, based on calculation, how to stop, how to solve them, the approach, and I'll be making different tutorials how to solve all of them. So let us discuss first what you will learn in this course in nutshell. First and foremost, so it will it is going to prepare you for one of the most difficult part of CPM. So most difficult part of um, part of CPM question paper is these problems where you have to solve them. The conceptual problems are relatively easy, right? They are not. Um, they don't they can't trick you so much or can't complicate the question so much in a way to an extent but yeah these problems the formula play based problems here we need to be a bit careful while solving them and this is the section where most of the participants or the candidates preparing for CPM uh, feel uh, under confident about nervous about or they are not sure whether they would be able to make it in this section Generally, this formula based section or mathematical section is quite weak for the CPM participants or candidates. So, I thought of making a separate course for this where we will be covering variety of uh, problems and to approach to solve them. So, that brings me to the second point. It's, so, when you see me solving different problems in the tutorials or in the course lessons, you will find out what is the approach to solve all these formula based problems or some say mathematical or calculation based problem. The approach is very important. How you see the question, how you get along uh, on solving the question. And that's the second. Third, yeah, so you will be solving the problems with me. So I, um, I have cleared my say, CPM certifications. I have been there in the exam. I have solved all the questions. I have done a practice so once you solve it with me so there are other courses on the udemy where you'll find there is there are quizzes where instructor have you know, uh, given a written explanation but uh, this is the usp of this course that you have tutorials or you have the lessons to or solve all of them and right? you can solve with me in the sense you can pause the video you can solve your own um, cross check the way i'm solving so that is the third one. Fourth is the step by step tutorial. So I'll be solving. So you won't find directly question mentioned, directly answers mentioned. I'll be solving along with you or in the video how it should be a step by step approach. Next point I'll try to cover all types of problems that can be possibly asked in CPM. So uh, when I was preparing, so I've, I've done a lot of research on this. There was no such course available anywhere on Udemy or anywhere across on the internet or Google which would talk about all about such problems and I could get them at one place. But yeah, now after uh, being through all the preparation, I have it uh, at one place saved. So this is a lesson, uh, this course and an attempt to help all the participants to save all those time to do research work and have those questions at one place not just questions but the way to solve it as well fourth since it's a video tutorial you can anytime pause it stop check your mistakes and again read or you know go through the video again and find out how what's how the explanation was done or how the answers how, how it was solved so in the next slide i'll be also talking about the approach so in that it will get more clear how you should go about um, such uh, my tutorials um, how you should how you should be solving it with me last and the foremost is the first time in the history right such course has been created as i mentioned when two years back i went uh, i went as a I, I cleared a CPM certification there, there was not 
uh, much av- things available information available about cpm on internet what type of question was asked how one can what is the difficulty level of formula based problems how one can solve them so there was no such course available at time even now and this is so that's why i felt the need to help all the participants to be it's very important to have such a course which guides which gives gives an idea what type of question is asked what type of approach i should have what all things i need at my disposal to disposal to solve those question so this course is for all of them all the cpm participants who want to clear the certification in the first attempt and get good hold on formula based problems or calculation based problems so this is it. this is it in a nutshell why this course what what will be there in the course what you can expect out of this course in short let me also talk about in the same, in the same lesson what should be your approach when you are going along this course or following this course and going through different lessons so one of the biggest mistake what you can do is first not trying on your own you go you start the start the lesson um, suppose you are watching a lesson about for solving a problem based on gross margin you go see the questions and you follow the lesson end to end and learn how to solve it but what i would suggest or best way of such um, best approach for such calculation based problem is once you see the question pause the video there and there itself pause the video take a 30 second break go through the question and second step try to recollect the formula on your okay what type of formula should is uh, should be applied what Uh, what how i can calculate it try to think on your own whatever you whatever uh, study you have already done from the study material right and if you can't think of okay it's okay then now you go and um, if you if you are not able to recollect the formula not able to remember the calculation way go to the study material find out what's the exact formula uh, for calculating it and that's the plan b and once you have that then try it solving on your own and after all this is done at last you look at the tutorial right because there will be variety of problems and it's it's difficult to remember um, for for you the method and you know, approach to solve for everything you can't remember for every every single problem right so it's it's important that you try solving them here do all the mistakes before the exam and learn it here itself in the exam then you solve it in a right way so please so and second good second good thing about this is that you uh, learn the approach or you develop that habit of thinking about how to go about such calculation based problems you are not surprised or you are not uh, take on a back when you you see the form problem first time in the exam so it's very important that you develop that habit you develop that ability to think uh, and how to you can solve this calculation based problems so that's my fourth point that yeah, you look at the tutorial at the end the explanation at the end as soon as i explain the question give a pause to the video stop it there and then go ahead and last it's it's kind of an exception for all those who are supposed you have very less time and you can't spare so much time in practicing doing things on your own and you're falling short of time you have exam coming up in a month and you don't have much time to prepare then i would suggest is um you skip this you directly go to the lessons and learn what's the way to solve it and try to remember it so i generally don't recommend remembering things because um there is a possibility that the questions may be a bit twisted and the practice is less and you you have solved limited questions you, have, you haven't developed that ability to think so you may not be able to catch that twist and you may solve it in a wrong way so remembering is uh, not a recommended way but yeah, if you are falling short of time 
please go ahead and go through all the lessons and try to remember uh, the way I solved it. But yeah, better than remembering is the ability. First, the ability to develop to solve things on your own. Yeah, because in exam you have to solve it on your own. So, and that was it uh, about this lesson. We discussed two things: what you will get, what you can expect out of this lesson, and what should be approach when you are going through this lesson. Yeah, so that you can uh, get the best out of this lesson uh, to the fullest extent. So thank you, and have a great day.